Welcome, this is Jeff Johnson, creator of Fingers Gestures for Unity. I'd like to demo the new D-pad prefab that I've created. Let's get started. When you download the asset, there is a demo scene D-pad. Open that scene and you'll see this. Go ahead and click play and start clicking on the D-pad. Works very uh, much like you would expect a D-pad to work with four directions. You can even hold down two directions at once. And you can even click the center to do whatever you want. In this case, it resets the box position to center. <clears throat> uh, I'd like to show you how this works. It's pretty simple. We've got five selected state images, up, right, down, left, and center, plus a background. Let's show you how these look in the, uh, in the Unity scene view. Right now we have just the background image visible. You can see there's an image script showing an image. And we have these five other pieces. If I enable, enable their uh, image script, then you can see them appear there and disappear. Uh, indeed, if you're in play mode, that's basically all you're seeing. So if I'm looking at this center piece and I go ahead and hold on that, all it's doing is activating that image. There's really only one other parameter to be aware of before I show you how this is set up, and that's the touch radius in units. Uh, your fingers works in inches by default. So by default, every finger that works with the D-pad is going to have about a 0.125 inches radius. So you can think of a quarter inch diameter for any finger that's put down for the touch area, and you can increase that as you need for your game. The, the D-pad uh, has this background sprite here, and then each of these selected images is overlaid in the exact spot over the background image. Each of these selected states also has a collider. For the center, it was easy to just use a circle collider. For the up, right, down, and left, it was easy to use a box collider. But there's no reason you couldn't use a polygon collider if you had a D-pad of a custom shape. So if you want to make a D-pad that looks really cool and overlaps a little bit with each of the sections, just use a polygon collider and it should work just fine. Finally, I'm going to show you these images in paint.net. We've got left, down, up, right, center, and background image. These five images are 128 by 128, and I simply copied and pasted them out of this background image. It's important to get the pixels all the right size so that when you go to that selected and unselected state that there's no jumping, so just be careful of that. Finally, uh, when you're ready to try out the prefab, I've made an actual prefab for the joystick and the uh, D-pad. So we've got Fingers D-pad prefab and Fingers Joystick prefab. Those are new in Fingers 1.7, so give those a try. Uh, on this fingers d-pad, you need to be aware that it needs to be in the Unity canvas, as does the joystick. And just look for fingers d-pad script if you want to customize this at all. It's a pretty simple script. Um, and uh, as always, please email me, support at digitalruby.com. I'd love to answer your questions, and I hope you enjoy your new d-pad. Thank you so much for watching.